Hi, this is the demo for week 12.2. So the agenda for this week uh, is to complete the remaining features for the movie review website. Okay, so today we are going to do two things. Uh, one is the editing of the comments. The other one is the deletion of comments. All right. So let's start with the editing. Okay. Before that, uh, this is what we have. Okay. So let's say we pick one of the comments, right? If if I were to show you in spec here, right? So over here, uh, there is a Bootstrap data model setup. It's trying to look for this model. We don't have it, so we won't see any more model model appearing. And at the same time, it's trying to call this function. So again, we don't have it. Okay, it's going to cause an error when we click on this icon. So click on this icon. Right. So indeed, we have the error. Okay. So let's move on. So let's start with the moda first. So let's copy the moda. Let's copy the moda. So this is a once again the standard bootstrap moda. So we put in some UI elements, okay, mainly the popcorns, the text area, right? And then the name of this moda is edit comment moda, right? So that's important. So let's do a refresh again. Okay, click on this icon. This moda should disappear. Oh, by the way, uh, why this moda will disappear? The reason is because uh, if you take a look, this moda has this attribute, this dismiss. Okay, so it means that by clicking on this one, it's going to dismiss this moda. Okay, the same for this button here, right? The same for this button here. It has the same attribute data dash dismiss. Okay, hence if I click this. It will also dismiss the moda. Okay, so click on this uh, icon now, right? It's going to show the the moda that we have created. Okay, uh, but we still have this JavaScript error here. Okay, so uh, technically speaking, and in terms of uh, seeing things from the user perspective, this is an update. Okay, an edit. So therefore. Uh, if the user choose to edit this comment right so this review should appear and the username should appear all right username should appear here and the review should appear here all right so you may argue that the user should not change the username all right so this will be your project so uh, you can make whatever decision you want but you must be able to defend your decision okay during your project interview so for our example here we are making both uh, editable okay the nickname as well as the review all right and also uh, if previously the user has given a uh, four popcorn then the status here should show four popcorn okay so that is how a proper update or edit feature should be able to uh, show, show function Alright, so let's move on to the codes. Okay, so this is the edit codes. Alright, so we are supposed to put inside command.js. Okay, so uh, yeah, so maybe I will uh, render it and I'll explain to you in a short while. Okay, so now when I click on here, and maybe I will minimize it. Okay, do something like that. All right, still see above. Okay, so when I click on this, okay, hold on. Let me make this one uh, more visible. Right, so I think it's visible enough. Okay, when I click on this icon here, right, 
it is calling this function here okay is passing itself okay so what is itself basically the this here refers to this i tag okay the whole of this i tag okay the whole of them will go into this variable here okay and what we want is that we want to get out the value for item okay 45 so 45 will goes inside here all right okay so how come there's a 45 here so i have to go back to comments okay i have to go back to here quite uh all right here okay i have to go back to here so over here right as i as i iterate through the comments array and for comments that match the movie of interest right i'm generating the html and i'm also putting in i okay i will be the index position of that comment in the comments array so i'm putting here okay and what is i i is the primary key for that particular comment all right so comments right so 45 here okay this is the one okay let's move on to edit okay all right so now assuming is 45 okay so 45 so now with this in text i will have no problem referencing the array to get out the username okay after getting the username i'm going to i'm going to pull it into the text field and pull it into the text field for username and for review okay and then i'm using back the same function all right passing in what is the rating so i think it's four all right passing in because it's four four and then i'm um, targeting those uh, targeting the image that has a class edit pop all right so let me show you now if i click on here all right so you can see that right this is as a result of this all right and this is as a result of this okay and i'm supposed to show the rating for okay and uh over here display color popcorn 146 all right okay so i have an error here right so i have a i have an error here which is display color popcorn okay so here is trying to call another function all right so that brings me to the next slide okay so this slide basically is to uh it works similar to the explanation in 12.1 uh but suffice to say basically it is to uh find out all the popcorn okay that has the class name which is edit pop which refers to here the popcorn here and changing all of them to black and white first and then we know that the existing value is 4 so we we call this function we throw in 4 so that they so that only the first four popcorn will be lighter up okay so let's take a look let's copy this one Okay, save. Okay, refresh. So here, four, right? Edit. Okay, so this one is retained. This retained. The popcorn is four, and and because it's an edit, so therefore the user is free to change the rating and change whatever value. Right. So let's move on. So here is all on the client side and we have not interacted with the web API. Okay. So lastly, right, 
uh, we want to update we want to send the data to the web API okay so this is very similar to the insert commands right and uh, but before that we have a uh, JavaScript uh, are you sure the, the, the confirm dialog okay so that uh, we want to ensure that it is not an accidental click right so if the user click yes like for example right okay all right we haven't updated the code yet so let me just uh, let me just copy the code okay so update let's say you change it one two three one two three change to one okay you can see the you can see this dialog box right so if the user okay there's one there's one funny character here let's take away okay okay i think the funny character is as a result of the copying and pasting so if the you let me press alternate shift f okay if the user press no then all this will be ignored all right but if the user press ok what is going to happen is that it is going to go inside this if all right and then here um setting up the route so that it will match let me show you so that it will match here it will match these two but whether is it matching this or matching this depends on the method so let's go back and the method is put so therefore we know that it's going to match this one okay and then one thing will lead to another all right and we also uh, so called compose the object okay so we are composing the object here okay we are changing uh, we are updating the array the particular JSON object of that in that particular position then we do the same thing right I explained this uh, in 12.1 right then we send it okay and then okay when the result returns back from the uh, web API okay we call fetch command to get the new updated batch of commands all right okay so I think we can try that out so let's refresh it okay this is a great movie awesome Okay, I think my system hangs, so let me try again. Okay, awesome. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, submit. Cancel means we are not going to perform it. It's, so everything still still retain. One, two, three, one, two, three. Submit. Okay, right. So we are getting back. Okay, the same number of records because it is an update not an insert and then you can see the right everything has been changed all right let's try one okay one okay so it's correct okay moving on uh right so we test it everything is okay Okay, finally it's about delete okay so as of now uh, if I try to delete right again uh, that's the error it's trying to call a function so you can see over here right okay here uh, here it's trying to call this function we don't have this function yet hence the error Okay, and now okay so we only have one function for delete so it's quite straightforward so 
basically we are calling that function we are showing a javascript confirm dialog and if the user click yes then basically we are forming up this route which is which will match here and will match here uh, and then our method is delete therefore it's, it's going to match here and call this one all right and for delete we do not need to uh, so-called furnish any object right because it's going to take the information from the parameter okay if you remember it's going to take this information so all we need is to make sure that we concatenate with the right number okay and then it will be sent and then when the result come back we are going to fetch the comments again all right so let's try okay so delete are you sure you want to delete this comment okay okay so become 47 so click on it so no more comments all right so let's try another one this only got one okay let's try to delete away this one okay delete are you sure you want to de delete this comment okay all right so that one is gone okay okay so please try out and congratulations okay you have now successfully created a pure movie review web client so what's the meaning of pure movie a uh, pure movie review web client a pure web client it means that uh, your client okay all your your client are all static okay and it's using javascript to call the web api to send data and to receive data all right so that is a pure web client that interacts with a server-side web api all right so thank you for tuning in